Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A on movies. Because there's a pop-up that literally just popped up. So annoying. Okay. I decided to do a movie Q&A. One, I just got done watching the movie, so I was like, why not? So, first question, what's my favorite movie of all time and why? Hmm, actually I'm looking because I got my, all my movies just over there. Um, I want to go with Civil War, Captain America, Civil War, or Bridesmaids, or Pitch Perfect, between those three. Weird combination, I know, but yeah, that's probably, um, I just like the different dynamics of the fight scenes in Captain America or are amazing. They're really, 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 really good. And then the comedy between the perfect and um, Bridesmaids are like the best things ever. They're really, really, really good movies, and I just enjoy watching it. Oh, I'm always like almost in brink of tears. Well, I am in tears from laughing so hard watching those movies. And so it's really, really, really good movies. Definitely check them out. Uh, what's the best movie I saw last year and why? Hmm, I didn't actually see a lot of movies this past year. Hmm, but um, a good one that I did see was uh, Doctor Strange. Really, really, really good movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, um, fight scenes, the mystical arts of it was all really, really good. Um, who's my favorite director and why? I don't know that many directors, to be quite honest. Uh, let's go with Francis Lawrence, because he directed the Hunger, Hunger Games um, series, and that was just the most amazing cinematography I've seen in quite a while. All the, all the scenes are just, like, really really realistic and breathtaking because you know it's not CGI but the way he created it and made it such a two like you can actually believe it's actually real like some of the birds and other types of things really really A plus work I was like I was like oh my god it's really really good uh let's see DLA black and white movies No, not really, no. Um, because... Sorry, I just wanted to pop up popped up. But anyway. <clears throat> anyway, so, black and white movies, no, I really don't like them. Just because, well, to me it's really dated, which I guess is the intent of it. So she tried to recreate it for, you know, like, if you did a movie black and white today, I'd be like, no, sorry. It's just not my cup of tea. So, yeah. Do I read movie reviews? If so, which reviewers do you enjoy? If not, why? I don't really review movies. I mean, <laughs> I am. Well, I do review movies myself, but I don't read movie reviews that much. Excuse me. Um, I just feel like if I'm interested in a movie, I don't want to read anything about it. And if I enjoy it, I enjoy it. If I don't, I don't. That's just how I am. I don't want to be spoiled by anything, pretty much. That's why I'm very tempted not to look at all the spoilers for um, Marvel's Iron Fist, because I am watching that. And I will be doing a review later. So, prepare yourself for that. But, it's like a really... Um, I don't know, it seems to spoil it. And plus, not everyone's bright. and Everyone has different opinions. So, well, it might suck for... Like, uh, Rolling Stone might be great for, I don't know, Billboard. I mean, <laughs> I was throwing out different magazines. Um, I don't know, like, Vanity Fair, Time, Time, Wall Street Journal, they all have different opinions. Some are good, some are bad, depends on who's reviewing it, how they feel about it, did they even like it in the first place, or did I all say, go watch the damn movie and review it? You don't know. So, um, next question. What's the scariest movie I've ever seen? Do I like horror movies? Why or why not? The scariest movie I've seen. Listen, I don't 
know the name of the movie, but I saw this in daycare when I was like seven. It was really weird. It was like um, this babysitter was babysitting some kids, and she was like an evil babysitter. She turned into like uh, some type of alien type monster thing. But when every time they try to get an adult, she turns back into a babysitter. So I, I was like, what is this? And I was like, I didn't trust babysitters for a good like year after. Uh, it was like the dumbest thing ever. I was like, uh, why? Do I get... But uh, do I like horror movies? No, I do not. Um, I promise I'm not. I just don't like it just because I don't have time to be like have nightmares and crap like that. I mean, that's what it's supposed to do. You're supposed to be scared, you're supposed to have nightmares, you're supposed to, you know. But I just don't like it that much. It's just not my genre at all. Uh, who's my favorite actor and why? There's so many good ones, actually. Um, let me see. I like. I don't know, I'm gonna go with Kristen Wiig. She's always super, super funny. And I just like her comedic style. I love how she acts. It's really great. And I've been a fan of her for years. Do I cry at movies? If so, which movies make you cry? I don't personally cry at movies. And... Sorry, that pop-up's really pissing me off. Okay, so I don't really cry at movies. I've really never done that, really. Nothing has really brought me to tears, tears. I'll get a little teary-eyed. Uh, for the movie that did that... Oh god, what was it? I don't know, I just wanted to do one while I was like a kid. That's where I was that damn thing again. Let's see. Sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's the movie that made me teary-eyed. I don't even know, I was probably like a kid. Um... Okay, this is super cheesy. I just, I'll learn just remember this. Um, ant Man, when the little flying ant died, I got teary eyed. This idiotic reason to get teary eyed, but yeah, I did. So yeah. <laughs> Number nine, what's the funniest movie I've ever seen? Let's see, the funniest movie I've ever seen. Gosh. I'm gonna go with Bridesmaids. That was like one of the funniest movies. I watched it like six or seven times. Hands down, the best movie ever for me. <laughs> anyway, it's like the pop up keeps popping up. I'm like, Okay, sorry. Back on topic. Okay, so um, Bridesmaids is the funniest movie I've ever seen. Great acting, great actresses in it, or actors, how you want to do with that. But um, they're really, really, really funny, and I just love it. Even the outtakes and like bonus scenes are even better in my opinion. Okay, last question. What would I rather see a movie in the theater or at home on DVD? Why? It doesn't. Let's see. There's benefits to both. Like, if I don't see a movie, at all, and I decided to buy it on DVD. I can usually buy it cheap. I usually wait like forever to buy a movie. And if I like it, I like it. If I don't, it's not that it's not that much money spent. You know, it's like ten dollars or something. It's not too bad. Uh, but because like when you go to a movie, you gotta pay for a ticket. You gotta see if you want popcorn, if you want candy, if you want water, all this other stuff. It's gonna bring you like a lot of cash. <laughs> To be honest with you, but so when I do go to the movies, which is actually not even like that often, I typically eat or drink before I go, and that way I make sure I'm good through the entire movie. That's just how I work, pretty much. Um, but like, I don't know. There's benefits to both, I guess. Very not a definitive answer, but hey, I'm not very definitive. <laughs> Okay, uh, I got to check this mess out. Everything is still recording. That's awesome. I spent 10 minutes talking. So, I will see y'all in my next video. Um, if you want me to do another Q&A, please let me know in the comment section below what questions you want to ask. 
and we're just buying stuff online because I don't have any comments right now. So. Anyway, please let me know below. And I am working on getting rid of this. I'm going to start like a workout blog or something. Or like a workout center or something because I got to get rid of that. It's really annoying. Alright, got to go. Bye.